Cheers. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this February the 12th. Uh, we're looking at on this Monday, beginning of the week, a little, a little bit, oh, man, I can't even really call it shakiness. The Dow's up 24, 38,694. As it stands right now, it looks like it's going to be tough to break the 39,900s. I think that's going to be a serious, uh, at least a short-term a resistance point. More importantly, what I am looking at here is that you see this little rectangle that's forming. I'll draw it in right here. Until we break under it right there, until we really start to trade, I don't mean just slide underneath, but I'm talking about trading below the low of the 5th of February, which was at 38,000, uh, 38, let's call it uh, 720. 30,000, that has to be a two, surely. Yeah, 38,200, 30, let's call it 200. Don't we actually trading under that? That's about four, five, four. Uh, yeah, so let's see, six, let's make that 700 to the, that's about 300 points lower than where we are right now. Until we actually trading there, this sideways uh, consolidation in the Dow is just, it, it, at this point, we have to think of it as a bit of a breather. That's all, because if you're looking at the S&P, and this is a slightly different chart. Look, the S&P has had no breather like that. It's had two days, and then it spiked to a new all-time high. And today, the high is 5,028.35, and the high on Friday was 5,030.06. Let me just change that. I made a mistake. 06. Okay, so within that context, um, this is still pushing high, but I do. Call, I'm, I am calling it an E in the daily, only a B in the weekly. That is extremely positive looking out, but it's a B nevertheless. And if you look at the on balance volume in the weekly and the daily and the monthly, actually, very overbought. But that two hundred, that um, stochastic at ninety eight percent, ninety eight point sixty two. In fact, in the weekly chart. And flat, that is very positive. So trying to time some kind of a, a pullback, first of all, you have to consider that it's more like a breather. It's not anything that, like a pullback. In fact, if it just gives back three days worth of work, uh, going back to the uh, 90, let's call it 90, even if it goes back to the 94, sorry, 4950 area, that's 50, 60 points from here. That, that would be quite a, sh a sharp move down, but it's all of a sudden it's gone back to last Wednesday or Thursday's trading level. Do you look at the QQQ, and I have to tell you that mm, those round numbers just keep appearing. And I, I mentioned, uh, let's do this. Uh, yeah, the Qs are down 27 cents at 436.79. I'm not th sure that that was the exact high. I think I forgot to update it over the weekend. Let's go there. He has a daily chart. Look at that. So the high on Friday was 437.85. Yes, I did update it. And today's high is so far low at 437.45. Not by much, but it is a little bit lower. So within this context, overbought, yes, on a daily basis. Overbought, yes, on a weekly basis. But the technicals, the nine period over the 14, all those technicals are still very positive. It's only the on-balance volume that's saying, hey, you're getting somewhat overboard. You need to take a little bit of a rest over here. Now let's go to the um, that's the uh, QQQ IWM. Now that's very different. As I said to subscribers over the weekend when I did my hour-long uh, video overview for the week and what's transpired up until now, where we are with all our positions, which are all all long except for one short position that we have, and uh, what we are looking at here is this. U-shaped pattern, which made a second U, so that it's like a W formation or a large cup formation, says that closing above for the second day, within three days, above the 199.41 high in the iShares Russell 2000 ETF, IWM, 
trading right now two one point fifty up two point seventy. That's a big deal because finally the MACD's turned up to stochastic. Yeah, it's a rally, but it's not great at sixty eight. So on balance volume, eh, nothing to see here. But the relative strength is improving just a little bit. That's the gray line right there. Let me see if I can click on it right there. Yep, that's actually improving a little bit. So yes, there is a rotation now going to the small caps of 2000. Uh, not not the small, small caps, because if you look at the IWB, uh, that's EF. This is uh, still extending to all-time highs, even as we speak. It's uh, 276.08 um, is the hype today, which is an all-time high. Uh, leg B in the weekly chart. Let me just raise that up there, leg B. There we go. Leg B. And a leg D. So it's a little extended in the in the monthly chart, but it's still leg D with good technicals. So that's the Russell 1000 ETF IWB. All right, let's go on. I want to show you the XLK. XLK is, in fact, the... Hmm, I consider that to be an alternate count, but I am calling it a D right now in the daily chart. Could be an alternate count, but I'm going to be conservative. Call it a D right there. There's a, a leg D at this point, leg D in the weekly chart. Uh, all time high, SP Select Tech Spider Fund. Uh, pulling back a little bit today, down 62 cents. Ooh, down. Ooh, what happened there? 207.23, down 61 cents. And let me just lift this up so you can see it clearly. We are underneath the Friday all-time high. Um, as I say, for subscribers, we're preparing that there is some kind of a pullback here. We have one short position. We've got another short position as a potential only if certain conditions, only if certain conditions are met. They're not close to being met right now, but that's something that we're going to be considering. Okay, I have to do this gold. Pulling back sharply down 10 at 2028. Look, the lowercase h goes to lowercase m. There's a second arch formation right here. There it is. Second arch formation. Taking, almost taking out the left side low of three weeks ago. The low today is 2026.7 on the continuous contract. Um, and it's trading right now 2027.8. I look at silver. Over the weekend when I was looking at it, it really wasn't a great looking chart. It did try to pop today. Went all the way to, it opened at 22.63, went to 23.15. It's now 22.79, up uh, 19 cents. But these pops to the upside that fail are really not very good. I'm going to do this um, right now, high-grade copper. High-grade copper is up a fraction, is up 48, no, it's up 0.01 1, .01 at 3.699. Not a very good looking chart pattern at all. Now I needed to go to the uh, bonds. We first we go to the bonds themselves. Bonds are unchanged. Look at the TLT, the lower range. That means yields are pushing high, but it hasn't taken out the low of mid January. And that was the low of, I should have typed it in, the low of uh, 93.10. That was on the 24th of January. Type that in 93.10. And that's just telling us that yields are going high. So you remember I was talking about this. I didn't even mention it. Uh, I barely mentioned it to my subscribers on Saturday because it, it's it's still kind of peripheral. And that is, yeah, I, I showed it. But it was to show a gray. In other words, uh, yields are going higher. The dollar's going higher. Crude oil is up in the... Uh, it's, it's not doing that much. I don't really have a dark news cloud cover at this particular moment, but it is starting, the, the clouds are forming. Let's just put it that way. I'll be right back. Dow is up uh, nine. I'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, I had a question about this. I'll do it right now. The question was, uh, did you get one of those long sideways rectangle formations overnight like the off, get off the close on the, on the, uh, in the futures? And absolutely, look at this trading. We went to a peak D in the Chapman Way peak Ds, but other things can happen. It went sideways. Within that, we had a little mini peak A, B, C, D, <clears throat> then another A, B, C, D. And all the time, you could even think that this was the trading band right here. I watched this so closely. <clears throat> and we've been in a trading band between basically 50, 40 and 50, 45, maybe 50, 46. Isn't that amazing? All the way through Sunday night into uh, Monday morning to where we are right now at 50.43. Just kind of stuck there. Usually what happens is it has one spike above the resistance. And then if it takes out the midpoint of the long rectangle, <clears throat> it can take and then re and pierce the low. In this case, it would be the 539 or 38. 539 low that was made around about uh, 4 o'clock. Uh, four o'clock when? Four o'clock on the uh, fifth. So okay. So what we're looking? Oh, is it the fifth? Really? No, it can't be. I'm, re I'm misreading that. On the ninth. <laughs> the ninth. So we're just stuck in this range. Okay. So um, and and if we do break that 200 period exponential moving average of 5035, 5035, that's going to be key support today. If we get there. On the upside, I would say. 50.48 to 50.50 will be the big test of uh, ex uh, residual strength, I'll call it. All right. All right. Let's get back to our story. So we were looking at um, gold, we looked at, at silver, we looked at silver, we looked at um, high grade copper. Now we're looking at um, crude oil. If I can find where I type that, typed it in the wrong place. There it goes. There, CL. <clears throat> 
No, oh, I, I've typed it into that chart. It's there, but it's in the wrong chart. One, two, there we go. Right at the 200 period moving average. Look how important this 200 period moving average has been for crude oil. It just, it cannot hold above it. So if by Wednesday, today's Monday, if by Wednesday it gets to 79.80 or touches 80, that's a big deal because now it's starting to make higher highs and higher lows. Uh, no, then it'll be making higher highs and higher lows. Right now, all it's doing is just stuck in this trading band. So crude oil, not an issue right now. The uh, TLT, I did that. The TLT, you can see 200 period moving average way up at uh, 96.25. And we're trading right now 93.77. A lot of work to be done right there. Okay. So within that context, let's just get that back again. All right. So I wanted to show you something important. Look, Marriott. Marriott uh, Resorts uh, and Hotels, A-shares. Uh, makes a round number high last week and then goes fractionally higher and then fractionally higher again. Big, big red candle on Friday. But look how spectacular this is. This is, this is important because this is the travel industry. It's, uh, it has, the economic repercussions are quite, quite uh, intense. Today it had, so it had a 250 round number that was slightly higher in the 250 area, 250 point something. Today's low is 246.00. Now, my contention is, and I don't, I, don't, I don't want to spend too much time on the round numbers other than to say the plethora, the number, is just beyond comprehension. I don't think I have ever seen anything quite like this. And as I've said before, I'm not sure exactly what the repercussions are, but it just seems to me that there's a really good chance that is telling us that fund managers, now it might actually turn out to be a regular folk that say, oh, I got I got to get in, I got to get in. So they hit the round number button, 246. <clears throat> but more likely, and I haven't been able to check it down. Um, I probably could. Actually, let me just have a look here. Um, let's go to M-A-R. Oh, I don't think I can. It's going to go all the way back. It doesn't go back far enough today. I could get it, but I can't get it now. I wanted to see if that round number was just a small volume. Then it'd just be a local yokel that got it. But in the meantime, it's really important for me to notate them and to just say in three to four weeks' time, when we look back, as this has been an incredible entry point for people and those particular uh, symbols have gone skyrocketing from here, or has that been a very strong resistance area? All right, XLF. I had a question about that. Let's get to it. XLF is the. There we go. This is the S and P Financial Select Spider Fund, up 0 0.05 at 39.13, just stuck in this rectangle, not weakening, but at least holding up. And it's very important for me, as I always look at the, um, the financials, and I have to include CRE, K -R -E, which is the S&P Regional Banking ETF. Very nice session today, up 95 at 48.83. So the big question for me, <coughs> excuse me, the big question has been, are we rotating, are we rolling over in some of the, some of the areas? And are there new areas? Is the IWM, the Russell 2000, and possibly the S&P Regional Banking ETF, are they going to be the ones that really move up sharply now as the general market led by SMH, which is the SM Semiconductor, which is still up 69 cents, made an all-time high today. Another one, a 205.35. Uh, trading right now up 73 cents at 204.58. Will they start to kind of just slow down the upside move? And we're looking at the uh, the laggards. Really, let's look at Shopify. Shopify um, trading right now at 91.00 round number, up 27 cents. High was 91.50, low was 89.75. So this is actually 
uh, let me check it out. Look, 91.44 was the high on Thursday. 91.21 was the high with the round number open. 90. Unbelievable. I'll just put the 90 in just to remind myself right now. Um, and now it's gone a little higher. And where is it? It's at uh, 91.10. So we're looking at 91.45 as extending this leg up. So far, it hasn't done that. Uh, but look at how nicely it's holding. This is a stock that was at, this is actually, it was split, it was like 1760. What well, we call the high 176.29 after the split in November of 2021. Plummets to 23.63. Leg C in the monthly, leg C in the weekly, and a leg D hasn't been, a peak D hasn't been taken out yet, but it's in a chapway inside track. Balancer. So we're looking at that. I want you to look at the IAI. That is the, um, this is the iShares Broker Dealer and Security ETF. Up 52 cents at 107.49. That's a good sign. So there are a lot of good things still in this market. I'll be right back. That's what's happening. Thank you. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. I'm going to talk about fuel cell energy. FCEL is a symbol of 10 cents at 1.47.
It's in leg C right now on the daily chart. Very nice two days from Friday to today. In fact, going from the, the 120s all the way to the 140s. Uh, you know, we're talking about a very low priced uh, stocks. This is, this is a big percentage move up 7.3%. Now, what's really important about this is that it was not looking very good a few days ago when it arched over. But now that arch has become a cup formation. And most importantly, you can see on the left side, stalling right there. That was back on the 4th of January, uh, 154 and 145 was the range. And now what we're looking at is within that context, um, the question has to be, the weekly chart is still kind of weak. W-E-E-K is W-E-A-K. But more importantly, what we're looking at is um, in this particular area, the energy area, are we looking at, I was asked about FSLR, First Solar. Well, it's obviously a different company. But yeah, it's still in that energy area. And if you look at First Solar, different price range altogether. This one's at 148. The other one's at 155. $1.48 to 155. Also with a very strong Thursday and now a strong Friday. And what I was saying is that the question came up between, was it N phase? ENPH, am I mistaken? Yeah, end phase, uh, energy, uh, battery. Was that, uh, was that, the two of them were asked, I, I believe. Uh, John asked me about it. And I said, end phase is actually a better chart because it's gapped up. And it was at that point trying to take out that left side high, which it did. And now it's had a stronger move up. It's up 7.5 at 130.06. So there's something going on in the whole battery area. Oh, there's one that I missed. E N V X. Oh, there's another move up. Yeah, uh, Enovix Corporation, silicone anode, lithium ion battery, 3D cell architecture. Very nice move to the upside. Gapped up, and it's a little like N phase. It was looking horrible, and now it's moving up. It's at 12.05, up 20 cents, getting close to the 200 period moving average of 12.36. So the question is, FCEL, Basil, can you talk about fuel cell, please? I see a break of the 148 to 151 area being quite important, maybe the trigger to establish a sustained, sustained longer-term push. Um, so... I can't really talk longer term about these because for some reason, for quite some while, we've been seeing them have this big surge and then nothing, and a big surge and nothing. But the rally that went all the way in December from the lows in December at 110 to 180s um, in fuel cell, that was a fabulous, but look how it gave it back, that Eiffel Tower straight up, straight down pattern, and then uh, went all the way down to the 109 area. Um, so all I can say is I can't talk about this longer term. There are so many aspects that go into these fuel cell and the energy and the whole uh, energy sector in terms of battery, fuel power, alternate uh, means of, of energizing um, you know, EVs or whatever it is. So I'm just going to say that at this point, fuel cell is acting really well. Um, the, you've got lagging indicators that have turned positive, but they're still lagging in the daily chart. But the nine period on Friday did cross positive, and that's a big deal. Now what we're looking at is that the weekly chart needs to see the nine period moving average, which is pink. It needs to change to green, and it hasn't done that yet. MACD's rallied well. Stochastic, 35%, eh, not so great. On balance volume is much better. Um, so there's a start. But I will tell you this. Intermediate term, I can only talk price. And I can't talk time. I'll call it intermediate term if any time in February, and of course we, still, we haven't even gone halfway through February yet, but any time in February, if there is a, a weekly close above this candle right here, that's that candle of the week of the 11th of August, which has had 199, 1.99 high, and 1.82 low, if there is a close above that, getting into the twos, I would then say on a price basis, it's met anything that I would call an intermediate term. Um, let me just move this down. I like to see things in place right there. I haven't even got this as a buy signal in the daily in the weekly chart yet. I have it on a daily chart, buy signal, not yet a buy mode. I must wait for the end of the day. 
But this is definitely doing much better. So intermediate term, not time, but intermediate term price. I'm going to say to you um, at 145 right now, if we can move up another 45 cents or so, um, that would be very impressive. And that, you know, these things move so quickly. I'm saying on a weekly basis, it could do that on a daily basis. But the 174 is the 200 period exponential moving average daily resistance. Do one step at a time. Now, I haven't spoken about support. Today's low is 135. If this takes out 140 support by tomorrow, that's not a good sign at all. If that holds and it's actually making higher highs again tomorrow, that's very good. And that says there should be a leg D, a buy mode by the end of the day. I'll have to confirm that. I'd like the stochastic not to be at 62%, but probably maybe 73%, not even 80%. And I'll say, yep, buy mode. Uh, should go to a buy signal. It's very close, but at this particular point, that's what I'm saying. Um, now, what we're looking at is uh, within the context of, uh, yeah, so the other thing was, could I look at the FXI? That's the uh, China large cap ETF. Nice action today, uh, up 61. And what I've been saying is that this particular pattern, this rectangle, let me just draw this in as a Chapman Wave methodology pattern. So that says I'm going to go to those highs and then I'm just going to draw a rectangle in here. There was a Fibonacci level that went exactly to 20.86, which is the low that was made uh, in January and now it's trading at 22.98. You know, two points in, a, in a, an issue that has just been making lower lows and lower highs for some time, but has finally formed some kind of a base in the weekly chart says that's a very good sign, and it's best not to look at the upside, but to look at what your support is. And that's at 2160 to 2120. If it closes under 2120 any time this week, that's really not good. At this particular time, the weight of evidence on the technical side says there's a push, a push, a push, and that push says um, some residual strength is there. If the FXI trading at 22.98 is able first to tag. So it doesn't have to even close. It just has to tag 23.69. Ooh, that's a lot. Let me, give, let me be a little more conservative. It has to tag uh, 23.45. That's the high of the 5th of January. If it can tag that once, then there's a really good chance it's going to close above it. That's just the way I'm looking at it right now. Uh, there's an improvement, not in the weekly. Weekly chart needs, yes, there's a, a divergence because I can see prices going down as the stochastic was starting to rally a little bit, but that's not good enough for me. So the FXI and XPEV, was that XPEV? That uh, was a question. And XPEV, nice move today, up 59 cents, up 6.9% at 908. And what we were talking about last week is when I was looking at it, I said, this little side move with these tiny candles, you have to see a close over the high of the 6th of February, which was at 8.83. And right now we're at 9.09. Good, good action. A start to an upside move in the XPeng Inc. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Uh, yes, so um, SMCI uh, in the uh, Thai YouTube uh, just, says, uh, just bought a SMCI put into this week, and uh, this is trading up 56 points at 796. Um, I've noted all the round numbers, 606 round number high, didn't bother about that. That was way back, I think that was there. Uh, there it is. 606, that's on the 2nd of February. Eh, not a problem. Goes to 686, round number high. Eh, not a problem. Friday, it had a high of um, 7, uh, what, 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 what was the day before? Yeah, it has 693, round number high. And today, what does it do? Uh, <laughs> It has a high of 798.95. No round number yet, but it's still trading, uh, uh, still moving higher. So you you cannot get in the way of something that is um, accelerating. Oh, I'm thinking of that movie oh, where the train goes through the station. The, uh, it was at a Paris uh, metro station, and a train comes from outside and goes through it. Uh, all the glass gets shattered, etc. And I'm saying to myself, this is like a freight train. The momentum to the upside is so powerful. But when you look at it, this is parabolic now. Uh, certainly that monthly has just had two candles straight up. So I'm not sure you can talk, you can visually say that's parabolic. But I like to see time as well as price. So this is not really time, this is price. In the weekly chart, you've got five weeks, uh, including this week, straight up. In the daily chart, you've had one little peak F right there, but the, from that peak E low that was made on the 26th of January, super micro company, uh, company, corporation, uh, yes, um, semiconductor, just one of the leaders because it's the way they, that semis are used, benefits this company. Um, and it's just been straight up. It's had one peak since then, and it's gone one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen days vertical. And that just says <laughs> you can look at this and say, oh my God, this is going to go crashing. No, what you have to do is go step by step. And it says this acceleration is where you get the um, 
there's a certain degree of hysteria here because if you're short, I mean, within seconds you have to cover, and even that that cover in seconds is like 10 or 12 or 15 points. Um, so there's a push to the upside which leads us open so that your support level um, is constantly changing, changing so quickly that when the price comes down, it has to find, in other words, this whole area right here where there were three price moves, uh, and you can call it at 687. That's 120 points lower. That would be your first real support level um, for Supermicro, and it's doing absolutely fantastically. Um, we're going to be watching this because the way it's acting right now, for there's no question that this is this. It's easy to say this will have a consolidation. How it does it, what it what it does, and I think that this is the only way that you can play to take a put position if you want to look at the short side only because maybe you even have it and you're holding and you say, "Yeah, I got to protect these gains." I mean, thing this is crazy stuff. Well, a put would maybe do it, and all I can say is that. Um, looking out towards Friday, I probably would have looked two weeks, not one week, but Friday is one way to do it. Um, and all I can say is, I, you know, I'll go to the 120-minute chart. I don't think that's going to tell me anything because it's just straight up. Look, 120-minute chart, let's just get to it. Uh, look, it's walking the line period moving average. It's not even touching the 14. And usually what happens in a case like that is that when it finally does consolidate, it goes underneath the 14, and that's at 7.13 right now. So um, we're almost 100 points away from that. Doesn't give you a time. It just says that's kind of the way it would look. And look at that huge candle, a gap up with a huge candle like that. Look, it did it before, and it never gave back anything. But now it's a little later in the game, so I think it's getting closer to some. But all I can say is this, that if the semis are moving like this, it means that there's a particular sector that has lost the steadiness of upside momentum. It is now in the stratosphere. And that just says this is an area that should at some point have a digestive phase, and therefore you've got to be looking at other, Let's just look at the IYT. This is the IYT, is the iShares Dow Jones Transportation Index. Um, leg D in the weekly. Sorry, leg D in the monthly, leg B in the weekly, and at 272, the all-time high was 282. That's 10 points. I mean, it could do that in an eye blink. So this is a this is a real positive for the general market when you've got the transportation index moving in the same direction, very close to all-time highs. Um, I like to see that, and that just says to me, going short, you have to have a strategy in this particular market. And that strategy has to be tempered with very tight stops. And that's exactly what we've got for uh, what we'd be looking at in the um, if we did go short another position. Now, the reason why I'm, I'm talking about this in terms of uh, in terms of the Dow, which we actually do have a short position. Remember, we've got long, long term buys in the diamonds. We've got a, a, from the October low of 2022, we still have the UDOW. So we're benefiting on the long side, but as a precautionary measure, thinking that the Dow is becoming somewhat toppy, not acting as well, say, as the S&P or the, the SMHs. That's an in, uh, that's a sector, but nevertheless, it's kind of the lead, lead dog in this position rather than our DOG. Um, this is really important to see how do we how do we do any kind of a rollover if we're going to do that? And you can see this um, stochastic at 97 percent in the IYT. This is all good. I want you to look at the um, oh, jets. That jets is the. Oops! Don't type it there. Type it here. This is the U.S. airline ETF. So jets, J E T S. And remember, crude oil hasn't been spiking up. Uh, it's up a little bit, but it's not spiking. So this is uh, acting much, much better. Jets trading at 19.75, up five cents. Um, a little difficult for me just to guess. So I need to do this looking at the chart. Uh, 1822, 18.22. And I'm going to use this as a phantom peak. I'm going to say the Jets, U.S. Global Jets ETF, is in a buy mode in the daily, buy mode in the 
weekly, yes. A buy mode in the weekly. That's in B. And this is in leg C. Uppercase on the way up. So that's a B right there. And a C. Daily is, I'm using this as a phantom peak. I like to be ahead of the game. It means we had two exact little double top highs. So I'm going to use that as a phantom peak to say we could get to a D quicker than if I left the loan. Here's your B and here's your C. So that just says that technically it is a B, but I'm going ahead of the game to say I want you, I want you to get there and then be prepared that there could be a pullback. I'll change it. And very often these phantom peaks get calculated, recalculate, they become true peaks because you've gone to a D and then an E, which turns out to be the D. Those of you Chapman Wave know, we have 41 in the Dow, up at 5 in the S. Still seems to be up here. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. I was, uh, I had a quick question. Uh, GLRE Green, I think this is Green Knight uh, uh, Capital. Uh, I, it's a hedge fund. Is that Einhorn? I'm not sure. I just did it very quickly, but it's leg D in the daily. Um, I'm calling this at least, I think it's a leg C in the weekly, but a leg G slash D in the monthly. This is doing fantastic. It's at 4.49%. So that makes the 11.65 to 11.55 really important support this week. Then I, I had a question about Bank of America. I forgot to uh, finish that. Very nice session up today, up 41 cents at 33.48. It needed that, but it really needs to get to the 34s to be able to say, we are along this for, for a long time now. Uh, it needs to get to the 34s to say, hey, this has got even more to go. So the Dow is up 57, S&P is up 7, just this is a market that won't give up anything right now. Microsoft has pulled back some. Uh, we did take some profit, another little tad off our position from 338 for about a, there's about a 24% gain on this particular position. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, uh, this market is not letting up at all. Uh, we'll see what happens uh, by the end of the week, where we stand, but um, I just keep coming in, handing you over to Steve Rose and all the great programming today. Check out my daily newsletter. 